British Columbia will share one man's passion for the world's most portable instrument. Hello again, everybody. I'm Wayne Rostad, and welcome to Vancouver, a city that always seems a little more modern every time we come here. But just across Granville Street is a building that hasn't seen a lot of change over the years. It's called the Yale. Now, we're going in there now to meet a man by the name of Sherman Doucette, who is trying to breathe new life into something else that's been around for a long time. Is your real name Sherman? Sherman Doucette. Doucette. Is it French? Yes. I'm originally from uh, North Battleford, Saskatchewan. I was born there in 1953. French descent, uh, a little bit of Cree in there just to make it to thoroughly Canadian. I remember my grandpa playing his harmonica when I was a little kid and me being impressed. I was like four years old and say, hang on, Sherman, I'd hang on it, sit on his knee, and he'd play the little French jigs there. When did you leave Saskatchewan? Um, 1969. I was 15 years old. I thumbed here to Vancouver and uh, stayed. Were you a harp player at age 15? I left home with a harmonica. Easy instrument to travel with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandpa gave me one, so I had that with me on the road, and I, I'd play it on between rides and stuff. That was your. That was my the beginning. Beginning. Yeah. Has there been a long, uh, rough, uh, rocky kind of typical blues ride? Yeah, it, it actually is. I mean, if I've uh, I started playing. In the Skid Row dumps, and uh, did the last 28 years in the trenches, slugging it out. And I still haven't had my big break. For that matter, blues hasn't, as far as I'm concerned, blues hasn't had its big day yet. When did you actually? go from just playing the harp to collecting the harp. Do you remember when that started? Yes, um, that's approximately 15 years ago. One of my guitar players at the time, his father gave me that bass harp from 1910. It sounds like a tuba or a tugboat. And it's definitely, to, to this day, one of the most beautiful harmonicas in my collection. Oh, you got some new ones in. Excellent. I run ads, I stick up posters. Can I see that one on the right, please? I go around to uh, garage sales, uh, flea markets. Wooden box. Beautiful. All the antique stores know me. They, they watch from me. In the first five years, I think I got something like 50. And then in the last 10 years now, I've gotten 450 more. 500 harps. Dating back to 1890. Wow. There we go. I'm basically looking for more unusual ones now. Kids harmonicas. This is a polyphonia harmonica. This is a harmonica they used for the horror movies back in the 30s and 40s to get that sound, that scary sound. train harmonica. So I go. This is called the tremolo harmonica. It sits on a wheel. It's a player piano. Would you say what you have now is a, a what kind of word can I get it? Obsession? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I am uh, 
definitely uh, uh, obsessed obsessed with harmonicas yeah it's my whole world what is it about the instrument that has appealed to you all these years uh, well uh, harmonicas for some reason like the beauty of them everyone has their own distinct beauty and their own markings and all that kind of stuff and it just endless like just when you think you've got the last one another one appears that's totally awesome it's amazing some of the work they put into these things they're just beautiful i have uh 500 harmonicas in my collection as of this day but i've got a long ways to go because there's 20,000 different models made it was bigger than the hula hoop at one time about the 20s it was just a crazy phenomena everybody was crazy for harmonicas i think it's because it was really affordable all the brass instruments and stuff like that cost a fortune trombones and all that stuff and and people were so poor in the depression era and uh, it just kind of took over what could you buy it for like five bucks two bucks five cents ten wow, cents five cents. 15 cents for a, a really good harmonica Not bad for 15 cents, say eh? The Canadian Ace made in Germany. This is a Marine Band Deluxe, 24 karat gold. But it, it doesn't really sound that much different than the other one. It just looks a lot better. Are you, with your collection, Sherman, documenting it? Well, my purpose is to one day have, have a harmonica museum and in the next few years make a book on harmonica collecting because there is none. So I'm the guy to do that. That's my job over the next couple of years. You don't pick the harmonica, it picks you. And that's a rare gift. And the only way I can give it back is by um, playing with my band. We host a jam session every Saturday at the Yale Hotel. And anybody who's really interested in harmonica, I'm willing to teach them how to play and help them develop. I want to turn the whole world on a harmonica. I think it's the greatest little tool in the world. So we may hear more of you yet, Sherman Doucette. Sure, <laughs> sure man, do a set. Sure man, do a set. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gracias.